one of the most fascinating things about science is that there's always so much to learn, even about something as simple as a drop of water. Now the really interesting thing is that the same kinds of things that happen with that small chunk of H2O molecules, the same properties of that molecule explain what happens inside of you and all other living things. Because that's what life forms are, droplets of water with some stuff dissolved in it. Water is most definitely the compound of life. It is the universal solvent where all the chemical reactions of life take place, where all the chemicals necessary for life are carried. And that's why astrobiologists, which are people who are interested in finding life outside of our planet, are constantly start studying planets like the Earth that have liquid water. So planetary scientists trying to find planets outside our solar system or even in other places in our solar system are always concerned with finding water because water, as far as we understand, is necessary for life. Wherever you find water, you find life. Wherever you find life, you find water. Now, that in itself is very interesting because that is evidence for the fact that perhaps all life forms started from a water environment. And Darwin was one of the ones that actually suggested that because it's the most common homologous structure. It is common to all life forms. Um, as much as 65% to 98% of organisms' composition is water, depending on the organism. And it's important for so many reasons. For starters, the origin of life itself from that primordial soup probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the fact that water actually pushed the things which do not dissolve in it, those fats from the early earth, to stick together and form those microspheres where inside of them self-replicating molecules could form and then eventually lead to the formation of the first protobionts or first life forms. We talked about that when we talked about origin of life. But if it wasn't for the properties of water itself and for the fact that the chemicals of life were dissolved in this primordial soup, it wouldn't even have life. But water is important for a lot of other reasons. And in this video lecture series, we'll talk about these things. We'll talk about the distribution of water in our planet. We'll talk about the water cycle, the chemistry of water, and the things that explain water's properties, which are so important for life. We're going to talk about the physical states of matter and how water behaves in the states of matter. We'll also talk about some other wonderful things that water does for life, water in mixtures, and also about a little bit about acids and bases. So there's lots to learn. And I hope you learned a lot. I'll see you in the lecture series on the next video. See you then.